7 o'clock Saturday morning, and as you can tell, I'm still alive, thank God. He spared us during the night. I'm filming the water in the yard. Since I've lived over here in 1957, we moved the house. I have never seen the water come out of the ditch more than two or three feet, and that was only a couple of times. And this morning, it's flooded. Now, according to the reports that we hear on the news, we only had maybe like 10 inches of rain since last night. Well, that's a lot of rain. But I shouldn't have flooded like this just on 10 inches of rain. Now, you got to take into consideration that with the south wind and everything else, this could be some of that tidal surge that they kept talking about. So I actually, I can't tell if it's soft water, I mean uh, fresh water or salt water. But I went ahead and I called the highway department just now and I asked them to go ahead and look into the situation when they get the chance to. Larry Gospod and his bunch of filthy thieves, they went ahead and they let the water go on the south side. Well, that's on my side, but yet my ditch stayed dry. And yet once they started letting the water go, the Igret started landing on the other side of the road where there's a crossover. So that tells me that the water was going underneath the road and not draining to the south where it's supposed to have been. And I asked them to go ahead and look into the possibility that they went ahead and done something. If they did, then it's quite possible that what I'm looking at, all this water, is due to them. So anyway, I don't know when they're going to look at it or if they're even going to let me know anything about it. Obviously, they can't do anything about it right now to even see if there's been anything done. And they've got higher priorities to go ahead and look to. But I have never seen water in the yard right up to the house like it is since living here in 1957. I don't know what it is that went ahead and happened. And as you can see across the road, they had some damage to the house. Mary went ahead and called a little while ago and said that she thinks it's that house that somebody was trying to break into Thursday, which I don't know if it is or it's not. I didn't see anything. Is that possibly a pickup truck that acted funny when he left from here? And that trailer right there, you can see they've got some uh, roof damage also. And uh, the jokers in front, all the skirtings down, they've got a little bit of damage to the roof and everything else. And they're kissing ass with Perry, the alcoholic. So maybe they're all getting drunk, who knows. But it's better they're on the other side and leave me the hell alone on this side. But it's basically what it comes down to is uh, we're lucky we're alive. It got bad enough last night. Uh, I'm grateful that we saw daylight, and I thank God for that. So did the cats. It'd be interesting to find out, though, if this is fresh water, or if it's salt water, if the intrusion came this far or not. Maybe I'll know later.